I want to find out how much the world has moved on and assess the strength of feeling 30 years on. I just want your opinion on something. Do you know what that is? No, it's rubbish, though. Why is it rubbish? Would people be willing today to have a discussion with me about the content of the book? This book, no, I've never read. Tell me what you think about this sentence. Oh, we don't want it. Don't want it. No problem. No problem. This is a book by Sam Morsty. It's published 30 years ago. <laughs> and it's a novel, so it's meant to be a work of fiction. Yeah. yeah. The 15 year old girl, Aisha, was the most popular with the paying public, just as her namesake was with Mahmoud. So the prostitutes are named after. The, the wives of the prophet. Yeah. He's trying to say it, but at the same time, he's trying to not say it. I, I mean, it's saying like a fiction, well, fiction way. Way. Yeah. Yeah. You don't seem that offended. Do you think it's it's like it's it's up for grabs? It's alright for people to write stuff. No, no. Well, it's, it's not alright. You don't. Why? Why not? I feel like there should be limits upon what you write and boundaries in order to keep respect. And if that's not met, then I don't really agree with it. I do find it offensive because at the end of the day, if it is about Islam, then that's about my religion. Yeah. And about so many other people's religion, that it's normal for people to find offensive. So there's boundaries. Boundaries and there should be respect and everything between everything that's said and put out there. Oh, is that Salman Rushdie? It is. Is that the satanic verses? It is. Do you know it? Yeah, I've got a long history with that. I got arrested on them riots. No way! So were you at the demo here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the book burning? Did you see that? I was here. Who are you? Have you read it? I've read it. Where are you from? Where am I from? So I'm from Huddersfield. Right. I live in London. Right. How come you're holding the Santanic verses? Do you think I shouldn't be holding it? I'm not, no comment. So no. what you meant when you said where are you from? You meant are you Muslim, didn't you? That's what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. So would it make a difference if I was Muslim? I mean, I am Muslim. But you think as a Muslim I shouldn't be holding the book? No, no, no. Let me see what the... Will you read this, then? Yeah, yeah. And will you tell me what you think? Yeah, yeah, I will. You're not going to get angry? No, no. Are you sure? Yeah. How many wives? Twelve and one lady, old lady, long dead. How many whores behind the curtain? Twelve again. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, he's a devil worshipper. The curtain is the curtain on the Day of Judgment that he's lifted when he go to thing here and the whores are the, the wife, wives the Muslim is up, up in heaven. Is that what he's talking about? Yeah. Come and talk to me. Why are you running off? You need educating, brother. I need educate. Come and talk to educate me then. I encountered a wide range of reactions in the square that day. But what about the man who bought the book Salt in Petrol to the square 30 years ago? How does he feel looking back? What do you think the, the legacy is of, of what you did here with the book? The government didn't listen. The book is still there. What it did do is to raise awareness about the feelings of Muslims in the community so that the community of other authors don't write similar book about Muslims. We end up in a similar situation again. So by burning one book, we, what we did was to promote peace at that time. Do you see the kind of contradiction there? Like saying we were promoting peace by burning a book. Yeah. Does that sense it, that it doesn't trip off the tongue nicely? Do you see that? Oh, no, I disagree because our aim was not creating problems. It was to bring peace in the city. And yes, we burned the book. The feelings of the people were inflamed, non-Muslim, Muslim, Muslim as well, you can say. But then we set the agenda. We said, look, this is our issue. It is sad, unfortunately, because I feel that the media could have played a better role in handling the situation. I know, but Mom, what I'm really asking is, you, like, using a word like unfortunately suggests it just happened. It didn't just happen. Like, you soaked a book in paraffin and set fire to yeah. it. So what I'm saying is, is there a bit of you that thinks we went too far? Perhaps it inflamed the feeling of uh, people in the community, and if it did do that, we feel sorry for that. We, we didn't intend to cause that feeling, that hurt. Perhaps uh, we, have, we did go a bit far. Perhaps not. I don't know. There's a sense of reluctant regret here, but for some, there's also a simmering anger that's as strong now as it was 30 years ago. Excuse me, stop looking at your eye. Have you got a second? 
The author said it's a critique of religion. That's right. useful. Is that... oh, come on, then. Come on, then. Come on, then. You fucking bastard. Come on, then. Okay, In the book. Can I have my book back? Fuck you. In the book. No, I've seen the book, no? Come on, then. Fuck you. I'm going to burn this book. Tell me. No, tell me. Fuck off, it's about a prophet! Go fuck yourself, go fuck you! Walk out. Shut your mouth right now. Shut your mouth. I knew what the book was about. That's why they want to do bullshit with you. You can record it, you can put it over BBC Media, I don't give a fucking shit. You know you could, you're Bradford, okay, Muslim girl, trying to say that shit. How's that Muslim girl? I'm from down the road, I'm from Huddersfield. I don't care Muslim girl. I'm a Muslim. You come to a Muslim populated area, trying to say shit about Muslim. Yeah, I'm a Muslim. Please. When you're gonna get a response like that, be prepared. That's all I'm saying. So do you think it's reasonable if someone to grab a book and start ripping it up? Yeah, they can. Feel, 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 yeah, they can. If you want, if, if you feel offended, you can burn the book. But the question is, what are you gonna do about it then? Have you heard of the Satanic Verses? No, I'm not. Okay, so okay. it's by an author called Salman Rushdie. I don't want to read the book. I don't want to read the book. So you don't want to read it because what you've heard? Because of what I know. I know who that guy is. I know why he's talking about. It's all bullshit. There you go. Put on BBC Media. I'm with that one, that's my name as well. There you go. Get on my face. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Has he burnt it? Where is he? He's actually burnt it. Yeah. Where is he burnt it? He's kind of done. You burn it on the way. You up there? Did you actually see him start a fire? It's got burn marks on it. It's actually, he's actually set fire to it. Can't see him. I felt really a bit odd walking through the square with the satanic verses, but I did not for a second think someone was going to get so offended that they grabbed it out of my hand and set fire to it. We're talking about something that happened 30 years ago. To understand that level, that kind of visceral response, I don't get it. I do not get it. I keep looking over my back because I think he's going to come back in a second. I felt offended by parts of this book. That does not mean I want to shut down discussion. That does not mean I want to argue and fight with people. It does not mean that I want to curb someone else's rights.